Hey guys, we're going to draw our cave art picture today. Um, and so we talked about last time doing um, buffalo or deer or things that a caveman would draw on the wall. So for our picture, we're going to start with the head. We'll make kind of this lumpy shape where it's skinnier in the bottom and bigger on the top. It doesn't matter if it looks just like mine. You're just going to try your best to get this sort of round shape. Now we're going to make the body. It's going to be a big round sort of body. Remember cavemen wanted to hunt these animals for food so they wanted to have big animals. Then we'll put the legs, and if it was a hunt, the animal wouldn't be standing still, it'd be running. So we need to make the legs running. So straight down wouldn't be running. We need some curved legs. So we start with the curve, we make the little foot, and we come back up. I do that on all the little legs. And so here's our animal. Now we just need to add designs like a little tail, maybe some fur or hair, and then uh, if this is going to be like a buffalo, put some antlers on him. And finally, we could put eyes a mouth, and the lines for the nose. So I did two circles for eyes, a line for a mouth, and some lines for the nose. So there is our buffalo. And we also talked about how usually they didn't have people in the pictures, but sometimes they would show like a warrior or a hunter. So we can make a rectangle with a hunter's body. We can put an oval on top for where his head's going to go. And remember, this doesn't have to be a specific hunter, so we're not going to put a face. This could be any hunter. Then we can put some legs. I like to put a little foot at the bottom. See? And then we're going to put the spear next to him, and then we'll connect it with an arm because we wouldn't know where to put his arm if we didn't have the spear. And then we'll connect that with the arm. And this other arm's not doing anything, so it can just come down like that. There we go, so we got our buffalo and our hunter. And our hunter, he could have some kind of animal skins or some kind of patterns on, so we could put some designs on him. Just put a few circles and lines. And the last thing we can do is add details. So we can add plant shapes. And we'll put two plant shapes. We could add um, designs that could mean a number. So like five buffalo. Okay, so we're going to finish that up and start painting next time.